Guys, I might get a little emotional after watching this video. Hey, what is going on everybody? Ali here, back again with another video. This time it is going to be the Marvel Studios Avengers Infinity War 10-year legacy featurette. I am... I'm pretty emotional thinking about these 10 years, that how excited I was from hearing that Iron Man, like, uh, an Iron Man movie was gonna come out. I freaked out sophomore year of my high school. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to see this movie. Ten years later in the making, Thanos is coming to Earth, and he's about to wreck some shit. But, oh, man, I, I, this, this, these ten years that Kevin Feige and Robert Downey Jr., first started this 10-year journey for Marvel Studios. It, like, it gives me... I'm getting chills right now thinking about this stuff. <sighs> Anyways, without further ado, I'm just going to give you my reaction to this. I, I might get emotional or something. Let's just get into it. Two thousand eight. This music come going along with it. Three weeks before Iron Man opens. It's a very interesting time now. Yeah, John Favreau. I love that guy. I know that it's exciting. They don't know what's gonna happen. Everything we can. I really don't know. Yo, ten years ago. Anything from a flop to a moderate single or something that. Oh, could be a fun. And it was definitely not a flop. 100% oh. RDJ? Okay. To see them react how they hoped it, they would. Get a fight! Joe Russo. Of course it was going to work. It had to work. As a comic. That's what they're doing with this universe. Oh, man. Iron Man 1, Sam Jackson. I remember that. I loved it. The stepping stones into making this universe. I love that, any, that ending with the Hulk in The Incredible Hulk. He's like putting a team together. And Nick Fury. Casting Sarah Haley Finn, thank you for the casting direct. Um, she's amazing. Every single character, I think, was amazingly done, put together. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. That was some emotional stuff. Like this, this really hasn't happened in movie history. To correlate so many movies together. Scarlet. Two thousand nine. Wow. She looked like a kid. She looks like a damn kid. So many characters. Oh my gosh. It is. Epic, classical, everything. I do want to see where Stan Lee's going to be in Avengers Infinity War. It's going to be good. 
Oh, look at them. <sighs> Gwyneth Paltrow and John Favreau and Robert Downey Jr. It's never happened. So beautifully together. Oh, sorry. Oopsies. I don't know if it's like positioned right or not. I'll move back a little bit. Oh my gosh. The line. The lines. Captain Marvel! Captain Marvel! Oh! I'm so hyped for that movie. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. So, so goosebumps. Oh my gosh. Coming soon Ant Man and the Wasp. Captain Marvel. Hold on a second. Let me go back for a second. There we go. Coming soon, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel. I don't know. I don't know what else. Like, just to see, like, they were, like, in saying that it's never happened in movie history. It hasn't. And 10 years into, into the, into, 10 years in the making of woving all of these movie storylines together so well. It's so cool, because it's like its own universe. It's, it, it's, it's like another comic book storyline, like universe, but in a movie format. And it's just so cool to watch. Oh, man. I love it so much. I'm so hyped for Infinity War. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. I'm such a I'm such a happy nerd right now. This is Oh man. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. What did you guys think about the ten year legacy? Did you get emotional like I did? Cause Oh, man, because that, that first Iron Man movie, I was, I like, the first comics that I ever read were Spider-Man comics, but the, the one character, superhero, that I was super excited to, like, whenever I read uh, about him in the comics and stuff was, I, I was just really excited about him. It was Tony Stark, and it was Iron Man. And to see Iron Man be the first movie in the MCU, in the Marvel Studios, you know, the M Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting the journey. And Robert Downey Jr. just being the perfect Tony Stark. He, he, was, he was exactly the right character or the right actor to portray the first Iron Man. Like, out of the park, unbelievable. The casting director is amazing with all these movies, all the casting directors, because every single actor that's portraying one of these superheroes or a character in the universe, they do it spot on, completely spot on. It's, it's like unheard of, and it's a beautiful thing to like watch as uh, a comic book reader or nerd uh, back in the day, and I still am, but, um, you know, and, yeah, what did you guys think about this 10-year legacy featurette from Marvel Studios? And uh, leave down in the comments uh, how you felt and everything, like this video did, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more reviews, vlogs, unboxings, live reactions, through discussion videos, things like that, like uh, like these kind of videos and stuff. So, gentlemen, stay classy, ladies, stay sassy, but most important to everybody, you gotta stay a little nasty, alright? So, peace and love, and I will see you all later with the next video. Peace out.